Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have another video for you guys and I'm very excited to do this. I will be reviewing this um, iKitch is a brand, I believe that's how you say it. And this is an indoor electric griddle and it's supposed to be a non-stick um, griddle. So let's just get into it. I'll get put all the info down below just because my memory is bad and I don't wanna give you guys wrong information, but you know, basically this is just like, um, uh, you have two sides for it where you can uh, kind of do like a grill and then right here, just do whatever you wanna do. Um, but it's supposed to be nonstick, so let's try it out. I've never used it before, I've had it for a couple weeks and I've been dying to, so I'm gonna make some breakfast. So let's see how it works. I've actually never tried it, like I said, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. So I just plugged it in and here's the little thing that came with it and you just kind of hook this in. There's an off and on button and then it goes from one to five. I have no idea how strong it is. And I think this piece right here is just to keep it warm. So um, let me turn it on and then the little triangle turned on so I'm just gonna put it around two like two and a half so let's just see it's already getting warm actually it's been like three seconds and there is a little compartment here let me move the stuff I'm gonna use out of the way there's a little compartment here that you can just take out and this is supposed to be for like grease oils whatever um, and I'm just gonna put some oil and this is um, just olive oil I can already feel the heat it seems like it's gonna be strong and it's like I said it's only been like less than five minutes so maybe I should turn it down to like two so I'm just kind of gonna I've never used it and I wipe, have wiped it down so this is nice and clean. I'm just spreading the oil evenly. And let's see how that works. Maybe I should try. I'm just making what I usually make my son. And this is what he wants today. Let's see this one. So I have some Franks here, some eggs, and some batter to make pancakes. So I'm just going to cut up a Frank in four. And then I'll just put another one just to see how well it leaves the lines on there. And I'll probably make the egg first. A little bit more. This is how much oil I use. You guys don't have to put this much. This is just how I do it um, with any pan that I use. So I have an egg here. Hopefully you guys can see. And my hands are clean. And this part, the rim, is not warm at all. And my son doesn't like the yolk, so I just want to fully cook it. Let me see how that's going. Maybe I'll turn it up a little bit higher, just slightly. To three. 
And I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. And once the, egg, the eggs are done, I'm just gonna add the pancake on the side. And now it's starting to sizzle a lot more, so maybe three is like the perfect amount of time. I don't like my eggs burnt at all. I want it like fully cooked, but just like super white. So let's see if I can master it with this. And my son gets grossed out by anything that tastes burnt, just like I do. So I kind of make it the same way I like it. So let's see if I can master it with this. Um, so far so good. It's not sticking at all. And these are not burnt. You can see the lines, it looks nice. I just put this on this side so you guys can get an idea that you can use both sides. But um, my main concern was like the eggs and stuff. So we'll see with the pancake. Let me see how it's looking. Let me see if I could flip it without. Perfect. Look, here's a little piece and it just came right off. It was it, nothing sticking whatsoever. So far, I really like it. Um, I could probably start doing um, like more videos just having my food warm right in front of me and stuff. Like making it super hot um, and then like having it go get cold on me. So like that, I could just leave it in the setting that keeps it warm and I can be eating as I film with you guys. And the egg looks perfect. These, I'll probably let them a little bit longer. But nothing is sticking at all. Just give that another minute. So like I said, um, this griddle is indoors. It's supposed to be a non-stick. Um, and the settings are all the way to five. I have it in setting three, which I find is not too low, but not too high. I've seen other videos and I think like after three, uh, it gets super hot. So it just depends on how you like to cook. I don't like my food burnt at all. So I'd rather keep it lower than, you know, high. So let me see how it's looking. Ugh. This is actually exactly how I like it. And my son, like I said. So there you go. That is exactly how I like my eggs. So. I was kind of feeling like it might burn it or like stick to it, but it hasn't at all. So there you go. Here are the eggs and the franks. Let me start the pancakes. Okay, so I'm gonna use butter for the pancakes. You guys can use whatever you want. So mix here and I'm just gonna So let's see how long that takes. I don't want them too big, so I'm making them smaller. I was thinking of doing another one here. And let's see, not sticking at all. I think this would be a great investment for someone that maybe doesn't have a stove or, you know, is kind of on the go. Uh, the price was very inexpensive and reasonable in my opinion. I believe it's $49.99. You can find it at Amazon. I will leave the link down below. And check out all the reviews. It has actually really great reviews. And it's a lot cheaper in price compared to other, um, you know, brands. But they pretty much do the same thing. So I think it's definitely worth the money. And let's see how it's looking. Let me move it up. As you guys can see, there is nothing sticking at all. I made my I make mine super thin, so you guys don't have to make them like this. This is just how I like them. I like them super thin. I don't like them thick at all. So this is just my preference. But you guys get the idea. I just want to see. If the batter is sticking because you guys know how easy pancake mix can stick onto the pans and just make such a mess. Just gonna turn it. Let me add another one here. 
I'm actually very pleased. Um, I'll probably be using this later for um, some chicken or some fish. I kind of want to see how it does more on this side, you know. I'll probably try to film that too, just so you guys can get an idea with different foods, you know. But yeah, I am very excited to have this now and um, I definitely will be using it. Let me see how these are looking. So guys, here are the pancakes. I just put them on the side. They are smaller, like I said, these are for my son. Let me actually turn this off now. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely will be using this griddle a lot uh, to cook several things at once. Um, I think it's great quality. Uh, I have no complaints. I'm gonna keep testing it out. I'll probably make other videos, but so far so good definitely recommend this so like i said check it out at amazon and i will leave i will leave the link down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on my next one bye